Howdy y'all, Lone Star Keto Girl here, and I am super excited today. This was the book launch date for Sean Baker's new book, The Carnivore Diet. And from what I'm seeing, it's been a pretty amazing launch day. So congratulations, Sean, super excited for you. I, I am happy to be able to help prom promote, and uh, I, I'm, I'm very thankful that I got an advanced copy of this book. And um, so I'm gonna give a little review of it. First off, let me give you a little background on myself. I am a published author and I also have some experience in editing. So I'm kind of coming at it with, you know, a couple of different views. One as that internal editor and a book writer and also as a carnivore who's super excited to, to see what this book is about. Let me just tell you, I was not disappointed at all. I, I, I could not be more thrilled with how he, he did this book. He has, a, it's very well written, um, very intelligent, um, I, 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 with a little bit of humor, which I love. It's not overly sciencey. There's a little bit in there, um, but it, it's it's kind of more basic stuff. Uh, but it, it's super. It's a very easy read. I love that, and it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at this book. Look look at the inside. I'll give you some. I mean, it's got like some nice colors and. Let me see, show you some, I, I mean, it's just, it's just beautifully done. I, I, I'm very, very pleased with it. Um, so what does it contain? Well, you know, you know, Sean, he's, he's very basic and he's to the point and he talks about all kinds of things, uh, transitioning to, to the diet, obviously some background. He also gives his bio, which I knew a lot of stuff about him, but some of it, I had no clue and I respected him so much before, but now after knowing everything he's gone through to get to where he is right now, wow, I am like, oh man, I, I have so much respect. And so I don't even hear any negativity because, uh, uh, it's not going to go well with me <laughs> anyway. No, but really, uh, it, it's just amazing what he, he's done in his life and, and where all of that experience has taken him. And, and because of that, he was able to, oops, go this way, write this book. One thing I really love about this book is that it answers a lot of questions that I get asked all the time. So obviously it's something that's on a lot of people's minds. For instance, oh, what about the blue zones? You know, all the studies that uh, eating plant-based is the best way to go, et cetera, for longevity. And he answers some of that. And he also answers um, the evolution of diet, uh, which is very interesting. Um, and he also uh, addresses some of the problems that uh, people claim are part of the carnivore diet, like scurvy, you know, things like that. He addresses all of those uh, issues, uh, uh, too much protein and hurting the kidneys and, you know, those kind of fiber. Oh, yeah, my favorite. How could I forget that one? Fiber. Oh my goodness, we must have fiber, right? Well, he answers this question and, and he does a, a very good job of it. And he, he does break down the components in meat, the nutrients that are very important and uh, that can only be found in meat. And he discusses that. And then he talks about some of the plant-based uh, myths about, you know, how awesome it is for the environment, how, um, you know, nutritious it is, better than meat, et cetera, like that. He uh, kind of addresses some of those myths. And the one thing I love about Sean and what I really am appreciative of this book, I am not a fan of any, any dogmatic beliefs. I'm just not. I am a pretty hardcore carnivore advocate, keto advocate too. Um, and, but I, don't want anybody forcing a diet on me. And in, in return, I will not force a diet on anybody else. So I don't appreciate that. But Sean doesn't do that. And he addresses various things like, and he will let you know that uh, instead of it just being, oh, this is the way it is, bam. He'll, he'll, he'll have a little side note and sometimes in parentheses about how, uh, you know, maybe this could be true or whatever. And, and it's not just so bam, because he believes that, you know, science is not settled. And guess what? It's not. Things change all the time. And he is open to that. And he, he talks about that throughout the book with little, you know, 
little inserts here and there. And I really appreciate that. I think that's why I think I, I so much respect him because I'm so over all these people. This is the only way you do things. He's not like that. I know you may think so listening to some of his videos when he answers certain questions, but he is not. So don't, don't let people tell you that that's the way it is because it's not. And if you read this book, you will see what kind of man he is. Seriously. Um, it, he, he explains, you know, the other side as well. If he feels like there is something that needs to be addressed from the other side, he does. And he, he he's not just trying to look for every single negative thing in there. So this is not a bashing book. It's really not. He is just very passionate about what he has seen in his life. And he wants to show others that there might be another way. He's not saying it's right for every single person to do it exactly the way he does it. He doesn't do that. No. And and, and you know that's that's a great thing so you know don't worry about any of that because you're not going to find it in this book uh, and also I, I thought this was a really neat thing he did he added a lot of stories from other people who have benefited and we're talking some pretty serious things that have been reversed since you know these people have gone on the diet and I know at least five of those people in in this book so I know it's not a bunch of BS. I know these people. So, you know, I think that really talks a lot about the diet itself. Anyway, um, that, that's pretty much the main points I wanted to get across uh, in this review. And I'm going to leave y'all with a final word, one of Sean's favorite sayings to sum up the whole carnivore diet. Just eat a damn steak. Repeat when hungry. Voila! Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review and go get the book if you haven't already because it is amazing. You won't be disappointed, I promise. It is a great book. Anyway, I hope you'll have a wonderful evening. Bye, y'all.